But you know, some people are finding fun in all of this. Check out these kids in Wisconsin, twin girls. They asked to help their dad shovel the driveway after the snowblower broke. It didn't last too long. Dad says they sort of started out doing a great job, but then they ended up making these snow angels, having a snowball <laughs> fight, which is good, right? It turned yeah. out a little we, work, a little fun. We shoveled three times this weekend to stay ahead of it. How about you guys? Way to go. No. <laughs> shovel it all. <laughs> Lance just waited, waited, then realized we were so busy with the kids he wasn't going to get a chance to work out, so yeah. he decided he would power shovel okay. real, real fast, all the heavy snow all at oh, once. Wow. And he said it was not a good workout. He did not enjoy it. <laughs> However, we did, he did The shovel. driveway got done, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the kids played while he was shoveling. But it was a busy weekend because, you know, we had a bunch of stuff to do. It was the holiday time of the year, plus we had to see Santa. Of course. As Aww. you do. Aww. Yeah, so um, we're kind of launching our We Want to See Your Kids with Santa pictures with my little kids here. Lana on the left, Leo on in the red shirt, and Willow sitting on Mrs. Claus's lap. And so they so did a pretty good cute. job. Nobody was scared. Aww. No one was upset. Lana Ooh. wanted to go first and the other two were fighting about who would go second because for some reason they all wanted to go last. Maybe they thought it would be more memorable. They, they could, they could <laughs> talk <laughs> longer. Yeah, there you go. You know, yeah, they could keep going. Uh, anyway, we want to see your Santa pictures as well. So send your photos to CBS Chicago Photos at CBS.com and you may also see them, by the way, on TV. So super exciting, super awesome. Um, guys, what we're looking at in terms of our sunrise and sunset time today is probably at a, right about 7.08. And we're going to find essentially uh, probably a sunset time of 4.20. I don't, <laughs> guys, you, oh, there it is. Got it. Sorry, I lost my clicker. Long story short, thought I took it to the bathroom with me and left it in the bathroom. Couldn't find it. Julie went to look for it. It wasn't there. Guess what? It was right by my chair. That I just didn't see it. My mom would say, if it was a snake, it would have bit you. All right, dayling nine hours and 10 minutes. Sorry, Julie. <laughs> a little wild goose chase for you this morning. Oh, okay, we've got 27 degrees at Midway, 24 at O'Hare. That's where we sit right now. We do go down to about 19 degrees at 10 a.m. and then stay kind of in that range through the rest of the day. So this is, believe it or not, the warmest part of the day. After this, it just goes right down. We have uh, wind chills, which are in the single digits out to the west. Radar picture showing dry conditions out there right now. Here's the storm system that was bothering us yesterday. It's now kicked on off to the east, so slick roads, flight delays, closures, all a possibility along the eastern seaboard today. We, though, are going to be nice and dry. Arctic blast is our next big story. Look at these temperatures today. 8 in Billings, 5 in Fargo, 12 Minneapolis, 23 degrees here in Chicago. That's where we settle in a little bit later on today. What you're going to see on the seven-day planner, essentially, uh, is about a 15-degree temp on Tuesday, Wednesday, 12, 7. Derek, 7 degrees on Ooh. Thursday. That's the high temperatures. So that's a day with negative wind chills probably all day.